Thank you all so much for being here. So let's go ahead and get into this, starting with uh, Spider-Man Life Story issue number three. Okay, this series has been absolutely great. I think I was telling you guys that on my comic book pull list that I did on Wednesday. I do my comic book pull list every single Wednesday in case you don't know that as well. Um, but this series has been great. It, it's a throwback, like it reminds me of reading Spider-Man books when I was a child. Um, the art in it has been absolutely great. Um, let's see, the writer here is Chip Zdarsky, the penciler is Mark Bagley, the inker is John Dell, and the color artist is Frank D D Armada. And the letter is, the letterer is VC's Travis Lanham. Okay, see, I got VC's Travis Lanham right this time. Anyway, this series has been great. And basically what it is in Spider-Man Life Story is you're getting the story of Peter Parker once he got bitten by the spider back in the 1960s and as he pr ages progressively through the 60s, 70s, we are in the 80s now, the next issue is the 90s. And obviously after that will be the 2000s, the new millennium. So this... Oh, oh man, issue number three was great. Okay, number one and number two were really good issues, and they, you know, I've, I've talked about them here on the show before, but issue number three really, man, the way this story's been progressing, it's really, really well written. I like it. This book was sad, um, a lot of reality in it, and at the same time, it kind of ended on just. An, ex an exciting note as well at the same time just I don't know I don't know how to I don't know I don't want to give it away but it was really good and it's in the 80s so you got to know if you in case you don't know what was going on in the 80s with spider-man in case you can't tell by here on the cover he is in the symbiote boot symbiote suit and it was just after secret wars that's when they went off for secret wars and wow I'm telling you, this story, issue number three is great. If you're not already reading Spider-Man Life Story, go pick it up. It's it's a good one. Okay, moving on. We got Sp Amazing Spider-Man issue number 21, The Hunted. This series is almost over. Uh, the next issue is it. The next issue is it on The Hunted. And I've got to say, it's it's been pretty good. They did switch up artists for The Hunted. I noticed that, and I was uh, I noticed uh, Ken. Kenneth in my comments on one of my videos was talking about that about uh, Ryan Otley not being there on the art and I have noticed the difference I've kind of liked the difference here in the hunted series because the art is the who uh, I can't I'm, let, let's see who's doing the art I don't want to mess that up is uh, the penciler on this one is Nick San Gerardo Sandoval sorry I'm reading Nick Spencer Gerardo Sandoval and Gerardo Sandoval and Victor Nava were the inkers as well and Edgar Delgado and Eric Arseniega was the were the color artists now they've they've on these these issues the hunted series they've used a various amounts of artists and it's taken it's it's a little bit different now i wouldn't mind seeing ryan otley's art in here at all because believe me i ryan otley's art really grew on me but this uh regardless the hunted the hunted series and the tie-ins have been great the story in this issue it was kind of like a roller coaster ride it was it was exciting and then it got pretty, it pretty got got pretty emotional. It kind of it starts to hit you in the feels. I mean, we're talking here uh, about um, the lizard, and he's taking some responsibility for things he has done. In case you don't know what's going on, I don't want to give it all away. And he says some very profound things, man. People think that comic books are, you know, like ha ha silly jokes, you know. Uh, no, man, there's some serious writing in these things, man. Like this, this got me. It, it started to hit me right in the feels, and then it ended exciting. Like it ended me. I'm like, oh. Mm, this is so perfect for the last issue of The Hunted getting ready to come out, uh, I believe, in two weeks. Now, moving on, Black Widow issue number five. You guys have heard me flap my gums constantly about this series. I'm telling you, go out and read it. Don't wait for the trade that's going to probably come out in August. You don't have that kind of time, man. Just spend a few dollars and even buy it digitally online. I'm telling you, the story that is going on in this book Man, this is real life, man. Like, seriously, what's going on here is real life. And if you read what's going on here, just imagine, okay? The story that's going on in here is no different than anything that is going on in real life right now, right outside of your front door, man. I'm telling you, this, Jen and, Jen and Sylvia Saska, the Saska sisters, the Twisted Twins, have done a great job on this book. I'm telling you, man, I've talked about it constantly here on this show 
here on my comic book pull list and even on a video. I already did, I did a video like last week and you should go check it out because I'm doing a giveaway on that video. But I'm telling you, I, I can't make it any more clear. This is not a book that you can sleep on. I mean, sure, it's going to come out. It's always going to be around. But, dude, I'm telling you, you got to get out and read this damn book. It's that good. Get out and read it. I, I, I man, I'm, I'm telling you, that's how, that's how invested in this series I am. That's how much I love this series. I am telling you, dude, I cannot explain to you enough. You got to go Put this, just just go pick it up. You can't even put it on your pullets now. This is the last issue. Right there. Bam. Done. Done series. And they need they need to get Jen and Sylvia Soska back in here to write some more books. Hands down, they do. This was the greatest comic book I think I've ever read. I'm not even playing around here, okay? Now, the next issue here. Whoo! War of the Realms. Giant Man. Now, you guys have heard me talk on the show repeatedly how I didn't want to go and buy into any of the other like War of the Realms tie-ins because there's so many and like I don't have time for all that man I've got all these other books I've got to read and a lot of times like you know the tie-ins you know you don't really need to know all of the information that's going on in them but let me tell you okay right here um, War of the Realms Giant Man um, written by Leah Williams drawn by Marco Castel Cast Castiello Colored by Rochelle Rosenberg, and I love Rochelle Rosenberg, man. She's great on colors. And lettered by VCs Joe Sabino. And um, let me tell you, uh, this this book right here, I, I mean, that's all I've got to say about it. <laughs> I know that <laughs> that probably sounds pretty bad, but you know what? I could, you know what? I, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. You know what? Here. I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway on this. Uh, make sure you tune in to my comic book pull list on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. I'm going to do a giveaway on this for this book. You know what? Or you know what? I don't even, I'm not, the, the giveaway I'm going to do is right now, I'll tell you. Um, get at me on my about section here on my channel and I will tell you, you can send me your information, send me, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope or something and I'll send this to you because I don't know if I really even want to spend any more money even just selling this book, okay? I'm like, I might, maybe I'll just give away the digital code and I'll just toss it in that trash. Okay, um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say about that.